Hurricanes are some of the most intense weather systems this planet has to offer. And because of climate change, they're becoming more intense, dropping more rainfall, are forming in areas they didn't used to, and are rapidly intensifying at alarming speeds. And now we're learning that they also may be taking longer to wind down once they do hit the coast. This new study from scientists at the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology shows that hurricanes are staying stronger for longer once they make landfall, which means they're extending their damaging path farther inland. The team analyzed all landfalling storms in the North Atlantic Basin from 1967 to 2018, and they found a slower rate of hurricane decay, since they're now holding on to more moisture picked up from warmer sea surface temperatures. In fact, hurricanes during the course of the first 24 hours after landfall are weakening almost twice as slowly now than they did 50 years ago. Computer model simulations of hurricanes showed that additional moisture is most likely the main cause for these trends. The team created computer simulations of four different hurricanes and then set different temperatures for the surface of the sea. Once each virtual hurricane reached Cat 4 strength, the scientists simulated landfall by cutting off the supply of moisture from beneath. That's when they found that even though each simulated storm made landfall at the same intensity, the ones that developed over warmer waters, well, they took more time to weaken. If these trends continue, it could make hurricanes even more costly. They're already one of the costliest natural disasters in North America. And with a busy season already meaning around three hurricanes that enter into Atlantic Canadian waters each year, a warming world will mean the potential for greater impact on our Canadian communities, even a few hundred kilometers inland. The researchers now plan to study hurricane data from other regions of the world to determine whether this trend is occurring around the globe. So stay tuned. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.